Hello fellow coders, welcome to Two Codes in a Block. It's the Go Coders, Matt and Kelly here, and today we're going to build something super fun for you to try out. First we need to tell you about our program. Go Code is an outreach program that is sponsored by CanCo, which is brought to you by the Government of Canada. With their help, we reach out to students all across Saskatchewan in teaching the basics of coding. It's a free program that we offer, so make sure to spread the news to teachers and friends. Okay. On this episode of Two Codes in a Block, we're going to create a fun, interactive game known as Head Guess on a microgrid. So Matt, what is Head Guess? Well Kelly, it's like the board game Headbands, except it's programmed on a microbit, and therefore legally distinct. The purpose is to put the microbit on your forehead and a word will pop up, uh, and then the other people will give hints so you can try and guess the word. Okay Matt, you have the microbit first, a word is going to appear and I will give you hints on what the word is. Sound good? All right, I'm ready. Okay, he flies, is a man of steel. Everyone loves him and is in the newspapers all the time. Iron Man. No, Superman, next one. Okay, you should get this one. He's a billionaire, smart, a superhero, and he has really cool gadgets. Iron Man? No, it's Batman. Pass, next one. Oh boy, okay, he's got a cool suit. He's part of an amazing team. Works with awesome machines all day. Oh, that's easy, it's me. What? No, it's Iron Man. You know, Iron Suit, Avengers Team, Jarvis. Oh. Okay, that was a lot of fun and entertaining for everyone to play. Well, I think it's time to show everyone how to code this in a workshop. You ready? You know it. All right, so we're going to show you how to build the head guess game in makecode.microbit.org. This is where we're going to use our microbit. It's going to be a lot of fun. So once we're here at the website makecode.microbit.org, all we're going to do is we're going to go click on new project. We're going to name our project head guess. And it's going to bring us to our workspace. So when we take a look at this workspace, you're going to see about three key components. You're going to see the left hand side, which has a virtual micro bit, which is going to show us our progress when we code. We have our code list right here, where we have basic input, music, LED, radio, loops, and so forth. Okay. Then on the right hand side, we actually have our workspace. This is where we're going to put all our codes. Now we use a Blockly language here. And with the Blockly language, it's really fun because it's a lot like Lego. So for example, if we just take a look here, I'm going to go into basics. I'm going to just select the first code here, show number zero. I'm going to click hold and I'm going to drag that into the on start and I'm going to release. Now, once I release the on start and show number zero connect together. So that's like the Lego part. So that's really cool. Now that we have an understanding of how the layout is for makecode.microbit.org, let's begin our actually coding. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go into advanced and we're going to select arrays. Now in arrays under the create, we have set list to arrays of zero to one minus and plus, and we have set text list to arrays of a, b, c minus plus. So that's the one that we're going to grab. It's the set text list. So I'm going to click hold and I'm going to drag that into the on start like so. All right, so this is where we're going to put our words for head guess. So where it says arrays of A, B, C, this is where we're going to put our words. So for this one, I'm just going to put Superman. I'm going to put Batman for the next one and then Iron Man for the last one. Now you can continue on and create as many words as you want uh, by just clicking on the plus and it's going to continuously add. And if you have too many and you are done with it, you can actually minus and it gets rid of the extra words. So for this one, I'm just going to keep it simple and have three words there. Next for the game, we have to have some kind of uh, challenge. So for this one, we actually decided to do a countdown. So you'll have 30 seconds to name as many times as you can. So for this one, we're actually going to go into again the advanced where it says game and we're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to find where it says 
start countdown MS 10,000. So with the 10,000, we're just gonna click hold and we're gonna drag it underneath the set text, just like so. And we're going to switch the 10,000 to 30,000. Wonderful. Now once that's done, we're gonna go into input. We're going to select the on shake, drag it out into the middle. Once the on shake is there, we're actually going to uh, switch the shake to logo down. So anytime that the logo goes down, something's going to happen. It's going to trigger. Okay. So what we need to do here next is we actually need to do a variable. Now a variable is something that changes, right? So we need to have something that changes, which is the words. We want to have the words changing every time we get it, right? So how we're going to do this is we're going to go into variables. We're going to make a variable. This time I'm just going to name it index. That's what we're going to go with. So now that we have an index, you can see that we have a couple codes here where it says set index to zero, change index by one, and we just have the index and text list variables by themselves. So what we want is we want the set index to zero. So we're gonna click hold, we're gonna drag that and put it into the logo down. Next, what we're going to do is we actually want to have it randomize the words. So we don't know what word is going to be coming up next. So for this, we're actually going to do a little bit of math. Don't worry, it's not too crazy. It's pretty simple. So we go into math codes. We're going to rate the bottom here where it says pick random 0 to 10. We're going to select that one. And we're going to put it into the 0 of the set index to 0. So now it should say on logo down, set index to pick random 0 to 10. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into math. And the second option here where it says 0 minus 0, we're going to click and hold and drag that into the where it says the 10. So it should say pick random 0 to 0 minus 0. That's it for the math part. Okay? You survived it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to change the very last 0 to 1. And then we're going to go back into arrays. Now with arrays, you're going to notice something that says length of arrays list. That's the one we're going to grab. So we're going to grab that one and we're going to put it into the second zero. And now you can tell that it's going to go in there if you have the red dots connecting properly. It will just fit right in there. So again, you can see, see how the red zero or red dot is kind of looking to connect with other ones. We just want to make sure it's connected to the zero. So then the code should say set index to pick random 0 to length of array list minus 1. Now you can notice that there's kind of like a little triangle warning. And the reason behind that is, is because we don't have anything set for list. So we need to change that list to state text list. Right there, text list. And then that warning goes away. So now that we have it, that it's going to pick a random word that we have of our arrays, either Superman, Batman, or Iron Man, we now need to show it on our micro bit. Now to get that to work, what we're going to do is we're going to go into basic. Then you're going to see the fourth option down where it says show string hello. Let's grab that one and place it underneath the set index. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a raise again. And this time we have to get it so that it's going to show the text list after it gets a value of the index, which just means it's going to pick one of the words and then we're going to show it. So for this one, we have to find where it says list get value of zero. So we're going to click and hold and we're going to place this into the hello part. So it should say show string list get value at zero. Now, once again, we do have that little warning sign and the reason behind that is is because we don't have any kind of list so what we need to do is we need to dedicate this to text list perfect so show string text list get value at zero now we don't want a value at zero what we want to show is the show the text list to get the value of what we've done recently here at the set index so we need to actually get a variable for the index 
So we need to go into variables. And where it says index all by itself, we're going to grab that and we're going to drag that right into the zero. So it should say show string text list get value at index. So basically what this says is that our text list, which has arrays of Superman, Batman, and Iron Man, the index is going to pick randomly between Superman, Batman, and Iron Man, and then is going to show that word on our micro bit so that we can guess which one it is. All right, so now that we have our basically game programmed to show, we need to have it so that it triggers if we know that it's correct or if it's wrong and to switch um, the word. So we know that if logo down, it's going to trigger the words. So we can continuously make it triggered downwards and it'll show up like so. But we don't have the program for the micro bit to tell it if it's correct that we guessed right or if we guessed wrong. So what we need to do here is we actually need to go to input. And on this one, we're going to select two of the on shake. So I have the one on shake. I'm going to go back into input and grab another on shake. But this time where it says shake, I'm actually going to switch it to say tilt left and the other one to tilt right. So if we're correct, we can tilt the micro bit left and it will say, hey, you did good. And if you get it wrong, you can tilt it right and then it'll be like, uh oh, X, that's one life. So what we're going to do next here is we actually need to have a kind of, some kind of score to it. So for that to happen, we're going to go into games. Or we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find one that says change score by one. Once we find the change score by one, we're going to take that and we're going to put it into the tilt left. So that says, hey, we got it right. Your score increases by one. Then we're going to go back into game and we're going to scroll down until we find where it says remove life zero. Then we're going to put that into the tilt right. Now with the remove left life, sorry, we just need to change the zero to one. Now that we have that complete, we are all finished coding. So let's test out our micro bit and make sure that it's working. So I'm going to go over here to the virtual micro bit and I'm just going to hit refresh. Get my mouse on the virtual micro bit. I'm going to lean up. Okay. So Superman. Okay, so A says yes, good to go. I tilted right. Batman, oh, I got that right. So this time I'm gonna say Iron Man. Uh oh, got that wrong. Oh, and it gave me an X. So now we know that that's actually correct. So that's good, that's wrong, that's, oh, and the 30 seconds are up. You can see the game is over. Congratulations, you have now actually built your own head guess by coding it in the Blockly system in makecodemicrobit.org. Congratulations. Alrighty, now that we know how to program head guess, you can customize the words and re-download it over and over again. But remember, you don't want to make the words too long as you only have 30 seconds to guess as many words as possible. Well, that's it for this episode of Two Codes in a Block. We hope you had fun today building the game, and we really wanted to show something that everyone can enjoy, whether it's family fun night, holidays, or any other special events. Matt, is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched this video, and remember, uh, GoCoda is sponsored by CanCode, and we're offering free workshops all across Saskatchewan. Make sure to tell your teacher to reach out to us through our website, sasscienceCenter.com, and look for the GoCode information there. If you liked what you saw here today, please uh, like this video and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Saskatchewan Science Center YouTube channel. Thanks everyone and see you next time.